morning, Springton Lake. I'm CJ McDonald. And I'm Grace Rim Thomas with your morning announcements. Today is Wednesday, March 30th, 2022. Today is a day three. And since it's Wednesday, you know what that means. It's hump day. Woo -woo! Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The first all-school dance is this Friday, April 1st from 7 to 9 p.m. in the gym. Tickets are only $5 and will be on sale during lunches. This includes snacks and drinks. The theme is Hawaiian luau. Dress is casual. Hope to see you there. There's a Reading Olympics meeting after school today in the library. Newspaper Club will be in the B101 on Wednesday, March 30th. Art Club Group B will be me meeting on Thursday instead of Wednesday this week. Donuts and Devils will not meet this Thursday. We meet next Thursday, April 7th. Hope to see you next week. Dr. Sal will be back with Trivia Tuesday's answer tomorrow, so t stay tuned. Did you know the school store is open? Check out this commercial. The school store is open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday during lunch. What do you think about the school store? It's amazing. Can we please remember to tell kids to bring cash, money in your hand? We don't take credit cards, PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. What do you like about the school store? I'm just really glad that the school store is open again and a great place for people to get school supplies and spirit wear. So check out the school store. Go to the school store. Go to the school store. Go to the school store. Today we wrap up Women's History Month. Let's learn about another influential woman in history. This is today's segment of Amazing Women in History. Sacagawea. Sacagawea was born in 1788. She was an important part of the first expedition to explore the western part of America, translating and negotiating for the American explorers with her native tribe, the Shoshone. As the Corpse of Discovery looked through the new land of what is now the U.S., Sacagawea gave birth to the youngest member of the expedition, Jean Baptiste. Sacagawea then carried him throughout the rest of the entire expedition. She carried him over mountains, rivers, hills, and much more. Sacagawea was a crucial but rarely mentioned part of the first expedition to explore the new land of America. She helped the American men to survive in their new surroundings. In the early 20th century, the National American Women's Suffrage Association adopted Sacagawea as a symbol of women's worth and independence. That concludes our segments on female heroes. I'm Cash. I'm Janelle. I'm Kenzie. We are selling candy on Friday. The raised money will go to CHOP. The candy will be $1 each. We will be in the main lobby next to the pretzels. Hope to see you there. That's all the announcements we have for today. Have a great day, Spartans.